Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a Peter Rabbit themed directional sign for Easter and Spring and I'm so excited so let's get started. So this is a sign that I had found in the Target dollar spot. It was three dollars I believe and I believe I bought it sometime last year. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it so I just had it on hand and what I am doing is I am penciling in the words that I want first and then I'm going to paint it in. I know that many people like to use a Cree cut for these types of crafts, however, I don't have a Cree cut so this is just easier for me. It gives me a lot more control of what I'm doing and you know it's just if you don't have a Cree cut this is perfectly fine and easy and it, it looks nice when it comes out. What I love about this sign is that it is both spring and Easter in one, and it goes with the Peter Rabbit theme that I really wanted to do this year. Uh, so the spring and Easter decor that I have is exactly the same. It's, it's no different. I think the only difference I have is I have a sign that says Happy Easter on it, so it'll only be up for a little bit as we're celebrating Easter, and then I might just take it down and just keep the rest of my spring decor up there. So we don't decorate for Easter until the day of Easter, so after Lent, and then we celebrate Easter after that. So spring, it, it, kind, it kind of goes right into spring, so the decor actually will not change for that. Um, so I do have some more Peter Rabbit decor that I will be putting out. I did buy some faux vegetables to go with that garden theme. And also I did do, I painted a watering can, so in the story, um, Peter Rabbit hides in a watering can. So I did a watering can. I painted it and made it look like in the storybook. So I will upload a video about that too. It's really cute. Uh, so be on the lookout for that one. As a finishing touch, I added some small illustrations. I drew a carrot, a beet, and over here I drew Mr. McGregor's gardening rake. I think it gives it a nice finish, and the colors look pretty bright, and I, I think they look really good. Has anyone ever had a sign like this outside of their house or anywhere in their yard? I'm thinking to put a sign like this in my backyard next to my, the small garden that I have. I'm looking for some ideas, so if you've done something like this, definitely let me know. I found this basket at a thrift store, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with rocks, and these rocks you can find at any craft store, uh, just to give it a little bit of weight and allow for the sign to be secured. And these vegetables I found at Target, they're fabric vegetables, and I thought they were just so cute. So I bought a couple of these to pile in to surround the sign. I'm going to just arrange these vegetables in the basket. I really love these soft colors, the pastels. They're just so beautiful for, to me anyways. I, I love that, that light pop of pink and the green. Um, it really goes good with the rest of my decor too, but that's, that's what we have and we are going to put the sign in like that. So there it is. It's Peter Rabbit's garden sign with his basket of vegetables just in time for Easter. I will be putting out some more videos of my spring crafts and spring decor, so keep a lookout for those. And as always, thank you for watching.